have a really good feeling about this. So do I, especially with all the all the data that'll secure this company for the next 20 years. Oh, don't remind me about all the organizing I have to do. It's going to take me forever to put it all together. No need. I remember you talking about it a couple weeks ago, so I already did it. What? I barely mentioned it. And you already collected all the data. All of it. And I reformatted the data uh, to display the profit margin. See? Thank you. I can't believe you do that for me. Well, you know, it, it's, it's for the company. Brad, can you give me a minute with Ethan? Uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, I know your intentions have always been good, but I, I can't remember the last time that I felt connected with you like I used to. It's like our wavelengths aren't even on the same plane. We can build a better connection. No, that's not the point. I've just realized that it is what it is, and I can't change who you are any more than I can change who I am. I just know that we're not meant for each other. I'm sorry, we've had some really good times and I, I'm not upset about any of that. I am? I can't believe you're telling me like this. You say you can't change me. You just destroyed me. When you dream, dream big. And as for my father ladling the gin down her throat, that wouldn't have killed her, not her. Why, gin was as mother's milk to her. And besides, he's poured enough of it down his own throat that he knew the good of it. No, watch this. You worthless piece of slime! You ignorant, disgusting blob! You foul, obnoxious muck! I've seen a lot of crud in my time, but you are a chemical disgrace! So, this is what you do with your spare time? This is an incredible breakthrough, Bankman. A psychoreactive substance. Whatever this is, it clearly responds to human emotional states. Dordan? Yeah? You're a father! Yeah, I know. And you're acting like an infant! Fuck! You know you could real fucking angry issues. You got some psychological problems you need to take care of right now! Who was the one who flew in here at three in the morning on their helicopter and woke up Skylar? <gasps> that was Sky you! Yeah, fucking bullshit, Skylar. Uh, you, you don't even remember that. No. It doesn't even matter to you. Does it even matter that I just had the driving range sodded with Bermuda grass? Oh. And now you wrecked it! Oh, Bermuda grass! Wow. No, you were not the one who researched the whole thing and had to deal with the golf course people. What do we do? You will do nothing. It has to be Miss Swan. He's my son. It should be me. With all due respect, it's her son. She has to be the one to break the curse. She is a product of the magic. She has to find it. I can do it. Don't trust him. What choice do we have? That's right, sweetheart. What choice do you have? Where is this magic? Tell me, your majesty, is our friend still in the basement? Oh, you twisted little imp. You hit it with her? No, not with her. In her. This was dessert. I'm glad I said no. <laughs> Are you seriously making jokes right now? At a time like this? It's my defense mechanism. What do you mean you had to leave? You were my ride! The bus? Really? Me? No, get back here! Get back here and pick me up! Oh yes, I took your advice. I was much more assertive with this agent. I initiated the handshake, I maintained eye contact, I even spoke of my accomplishments more boldly. I did a monologue and two commercials, 
and I was focused, centered, emotionally connected. Well, afterwards she sat me down and she told me that she thought I was very talented and that I had a beautiful face and she thought she could get me a lot of work. But then she looked at me and she said, get anorexic. <laughs> anorexic! Not, not drop 10 pounds, not tone up. G get anorexic. I mean, do you realize that anorexia is a life-threatening disease? <laughs> so I looked at her and I said, well, why don't you call me when you get cancer? So I picked up my things and I walked out of there. <laughs> you know, I don't think assertiveness is my problem. No matter how much crap you throw at it, it always rubs off and there it is, perfect again. Until it withers away. This is the only way. You're a passive point of diplomacy now. Look, Natasha, you know that I care about our people as much as anyone. And you know that I want to take down the leader. But we hurt some innocent people back there. We have to be more careful. Haven't you gotten justice? You killed the leader. You're sitting in his office. What, and let all the noblemen who orchestrated our people's slaughter get away without punishment? No. Well, what's your plan? I've had Joshika assemble a team. Tonight, we will walk into every noble's home and kill them where they stand. Joshika's allowing this? She doesn't know what it's for. And by the time she figures it out, it will be too late. You don't doubt me, do you, Grace? No, of course not. 